Good morning all. How are we today? I'm not sure how I am. It's been a good weekend though. Well, it's been quite quite a good weekend. Um, started off well. Got some news on Sunday night which has made me have to rethink next week. So we'll have to see what how that goes and what that involves. Busy week coming up though. I'm speaking at an online conference on Wednesday. So I've got to organise a, a rehearsal today, a tech check type thing. So that needs to be done. Got work to do. So stuff is happening. As you'd expect, have tea. Always have tea. Um, and I see this sort of bar across my... I'm looking over here, which of course you can't see. It's somewhere here, isn't it? There's a white bar. So I guess my computer is slightly further forward than normal. So let's push it back a bit. There we go. So it gets it out of view. <coughs> Not sure how that happened. Who knows? Anyway, I have tea. Tea is good. What have you all got? Have you got anything interesting for getting started with the day? Assuming, of course, you are getting started with the day. Wherever you are, it could be further forward in the morning. Maybe even evening if you're from the uh, far east, from my point of view at least. I don't know. Anyway, I don't have that much time. As I say, I've got to get going on my day. But I thought I would do a bit of OSS management, look at the projects, where they are, what, if anything, I need to do. Pretty, probably a good idea to get a release of Rodeo done today as well, if I can basically get her act together so that's the general plan and I think it's that button there to press to get us to the desktop and let's start with Safari Safari what can we do hmm I think we want to go to Rodeo first Acrobat Rodeo. Here's Rodeo. Um, which way do we go there? About there. Um, okay, so some issues still outstanding. Have we got any pull requests? Doesn't look like it. That's good. Um, I've got. Hey, it doesn't look like it as I stare at. Why am I on an issue? That doesn't look right. Less pull requests. That's bad. There are no open pull requests. That's good. Uh, which implies that we only have to worry about the issues. Uh, update readme for upload flags. That's. I thought I'd done that. Maybe I haven't. Maybe that's still outstanding. So let's see what the state of the actual project is. J Radio uh, Goland dot. Let's look at the readme. So we've got radio upload. Yeah, look, there's a set of parameters. So clearly we have done that, but we've not closed the ticket off. So let's look at those pull requests again. Uh, closed pull requests. Yeah, there you go. Look, document pro parameters in upload in readme. It was 38. Looks like that. Yeah, so we have done it, but we did not mark it as done. That was an error at the time. RD. Fixes. Ash. What number was it? Already forgotten. Thirty-three. Uh, no, don't press that, Rob. Thirty-three. That. So log it into the issue. 
I don't think that will close the issue off though. So let's go back to 30, uh, 33 itself. Oh, that's the wrong one. RD. Uh, I this, I suppose. Uh, fixed with hash 38. Full stop it now, I think. Oh, I should have closed it. Let's hit close. There we go, closed. To get an issue closed, isn't it? So, uh, go back to our issue list. Five issues are open. Oh, that was interesting. Maybe 38 was wrong one, it was 28 I wanted closed. Ah, okay, we did that wrong. Uh, hang on, what's going on there? That's an issue. Yeah, that was wrong. <sighs> Edit, delete that. And reopen it. Go back to our issues. It's 28 we wanted to close. Which means that we got the thing wrong in the pull requests as well. That's twenty eight, not thirty three. Try that again. Fixed in fixed in hash thirty eight. There we go, that's better. So now let's look at our issues. Five are open, none are particularly urgent. 11 would be nice to fix, 7 would be very nice to fix, but they're not urgent. And so I think this is a good point to release a point 0.3. This, I think we're up to point 0.3. What was the last release? Point 0.21, yes, yeah, so point 0.3 will be next. So I wonder what our version number is on here. Um, I think it's in root. Yeah, point 0.3 dev. So let's uh, prep for point 0 0.0.3. Like so. I think that's the only change we need to do is add the version number. At some point we should get that to read from the git release. So it looks at the git tag. And if there isn't a git tag, then it uses the git name. That would make life much easier for building. But until then, we have to do our own manual thing. But let's make a note of that. That would be quite a useful thing to be able to do, wouldn't it? So KS. New issue. Set a version number in root.go from git tag it would be oops it would be useful to set the git uh, the uh, set rodeo's version number from the git tag or as a um, Dev build, dev build with the current commit hash, short hash, as an identifier. 
that would make doing a release much easier. So I think we should definitely work on that at some point. Oh, that would be, that'd be quite interesting. We might do that on another stream, I think. Maybe next week we might have a go at doing that. So that would be quite useful, wouldn't it? I think we would like that one. But not quite today. Today we will not do that. We shall uh, just do a standard release. And I think we do that by just doing a branch and updating the version number. So there we go, update version 0 0.21 and then update afterwards. So we do a couple of pull requests for that. So git check, check out uh, 0 0.3. Uh, prep for 0 0.3, be a better name. Uh, we need the minus B because we're creating a new branch. Git status, git diff. I don't think we have 0.3 dev anywhere else. Uh, let's have a look. I should have shaved this morning. Yeah, that's literally the only change we have to make each time. So yeah, it really does feel like we should be able to automate that. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, git add commands root, git commit minus v, insert update version number 20.3. Uh, for release. Then we can get push that to origin. Like so. And then we can, we should see that as a pull request. Close that now. Oh no, we haven't opened the pull request yet. GitHub PR create. Uh, against main, that will create our pull request. There we go. Update version number 20.3 for release. Milestone is 0.3. Let's create the pull request. Like so. Actually, that reminds me whilst we're here. Let's check we actually attach 0.3 to all the other ones. Yes, we did. Oh, we don't attach this one to the, to the milestone. Let's take that milestone out. Not on a milestone. It's just a piece of admin, not really part of the changes to the release, I suppose. Interesting, we're up to 40 already. I'll pull requests for my little project. Okay, so let's uh, go back to main and merge that. Open and that closes 40. So git push origin. Like so. And now we're on point three. That's been merged. Go us. Right, so what do we do now to do a release? I think we have a document for it. Release process. Right, ensure milestone is cor correct. For correct version number exists, yes. Update mark version number in root go, PR and merge to main. Yes, we've just done that. Assign all closed PRs for this to milestone, done that. Ensure main is clean locally. Let's check that. I do like checklists. There's a reason they use them a lot in the avi aviation industry to make sure they do the same thing reliably every single time for safety reasons. It does mean that you're way more likely to repeat the process exactly the same way. So next, create a change log. So change log, right, so we need to know the milestone number. Uh, where do we find that? Issues, milestones, there's point three. It's milestone five, you can see up here. So let's copy that to there. And not there, there. Milestone five we said and that should give us a list At some point I should fix it to add the blank line after the five but I haven't done that yet let's copy that to clipboard with pb copy so I'm just going to pipe it to pb copy like so done ah now I can tag it yes number five tag with new version 
So git tag minus s 0 0.3. Paste in the change log, and as we see, we need to add the extra line. Like so. Now we've got our, our uh, tag, so we can push the tag, follow tags. And apparently that will automatically run a GitHub action. That's nice, isn't it? So let's go to code. Let's go to our releases. Oh no, it probably creates it when we create the release, thinking about it. So the version is 0 0.3. I wonder why that doesn't disappear. There we go. And a release number is 0.3. And we put in that. So, so I think we put a bit more text into our releases, don't we? Uh, no, maybe not. We did a little bit there. I'll add a little bit. Uh, new feet, the key, a new feature in this release is that you can now create an album when uploading a Flickr using dash dash create album or dash dash album if you want to be prompted. Uh, the, we also convert TIFFs to JPEGs before uploading. Work around an Apple Photos issue in Big Sur. Early in Big Sur. In early Big Sur releases. Because we've got to hope it'll get fixed, don't we? And I think that's about it. That's all that was important. Um, let's publish the release. Oh, it's a pre-release. And we'll publish it. There we go. Point three is out. Point two. So if we go to the actions, we should see that it started building the release binaries, which is... So that's pretty awesome too. So that workflow, when I generate a release on Acrobat, on the um, GitHub, it automatically builds my binaries for me. So they're available on the release page for people to pick up. And then what I'll do is once they're built, so I can click there to have a look. So again, 30 seconds. So it's building them now. It will upload all the binaries. And I can then download the Mac one and use it. It just goes through just calling the building process each time. So that'll take a little while. So let's let that whir and click. Um, and let's create the new PR to change to point four dev, I think we'll call the next one. So oh, we can get rid of that branch that we just created. Git push origin dash dash delete prep for 0 0.3. Get rid of the branch. Don't need it anymore. And what can we do next? That's still slightly too far forward, isn't it? There, yeah, that's better. Mm. Yeah, that's better. Um, git checkout minus B uh, set up set version to 0 0.4 dev. Right. Branch naming, even that's hard. So let's go back to uh, root root got go sorry there's point three let's change that to point four dev 
I'm not in BIM. So that makes no sense. So git status, git diff dash like that. Yeah. Git add uh, command root. Git commit minus V. Update, update version to, to 0 0.4. Push minus u origin uh, set version to 0 0.4 dev and then create a pull request again. So there's our pull request ready for next development cycle. Create the pull request. So we've got it. Check out main. I need, I should probably automate all this as well. This is just busy work, isn't it? Git merge. Oh, but this will go away when we fix the other problem. These two bits of work won't be needed. So yeah, that's definitely a motivation to get that issue fixed, isn't it? Push. That will merge that. Hopefully, yep. Git uh, branch minus D. Let's delete that version again. And delete it from GitHub too. So yeah, that's pretty successful. So we've done that. We've done the release of Rodeo. Um, so I'm pleased about that. I don't think the release is finished yet. Right up from there. Oh no, yeah, it looks like it's finished. There's the assets have turned up. So you see we've got the two Linux ones, three Linux ones, AMD64, ARM, and ARM64. So we're covering the uh, Raspberry Pi peeps. Macos AMD. We need to do a Macos ARM at some point, but maybe we can't build those yet. Need to think about that. Let's grab that copy though. Um, CP. Let's uh, go to temp directory. Oh, not there. New, new folder. See, there's a temp directory here. Oh, rodeo cd rodeo cp tilde slash downloads to here so there's my thing so i can uh, g zip it g unzip it rather there we've got that so i can move that uh, where do we keep rodeo which rodeo i keep it in my bin directory so i can move this folder sorry this file to bin rodeo so now if I type Rodeo version, ooh, show mod all plus R X tilde slash bin Rodeo. Rodeo version, version point three. So now we've got the correct version. So whenever I do an upload of a picture to Flickr, it's going to use version 0.3 now so i can create new albums and stuff so that's good and useful great good okay i'm pleased about that so that uh, completes 0 0.3 of rodeo i think setting the version number in root.go from the git tag is probably the most important thing i want to do next on Rodeo. Go lang read git tag. Oh, there's a go git library. That's a good sign. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't look right. I think we, yeah, let's do that. What, look at that first item. Go get. 
I wonder if Stuart's been doing something with Go Git. He was working on some, uh, Git, some Git stuff in Go, so I wonder if he actually used Go Git in the end. Whether he just called the command line directly. Because I suppose we could just do that. I oh, know we can't do that. Uh, yeah, no, we should have Git a Git command line in um, inside the GitHub action, shouldn't we? Because here's our GitHub action. We just call build executables at the moment, but I don't think that uses build executables. I should create a script directory or a bin directory and move that into it, really. I don't think that uses a git binary at all, so no, it doesn't. So, But I guess git's available. So we could just use a git. Probably want to do it as a build step rather than do it. Oh, it has to be done as a build step. Yeah, oh, yeah, we need to think about this. <laughs> yeah, so I think what we'll need to do is we'll need the build step in Git. Sorry, build stepping go. So when we build Rodeo, we look up the version number and then pull it in. So it's only pulled in once. So go build step set version number or build number. Yeah, look, Alex, Alex has done some work on this. Here we go. Docker's project here like this commit ID. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. C2 commits in your git log. Yep, yep. Git rev list dash head. So if I run that, uh, not there. There. Actually, let's go there and go cd temp rm mansara radio. Kill the slash downloads. Yeah, so there we go. Oh. So we capture that to environment variable. Oh, okay. Oh, and then use an LD flag. Hmm, that doesn't look too difficult. It doesn't give us the version number. Now I know that's possible because I've seen a Python project do it. G. Uh, go find. No, not go. Git find most recent tag and delta from it. Git describe. Oh, that looks useful. 0.3-2-G2E30FD. I wonder if we do a, uh, let's have a new window and move that over here. So J Rodeo. So if I do a git log dash dash one line dash four say, there's my tag again yeah, we are two in front of it so this version number 0 0.3 is the last tag two commits since the last tag and the current version is g2e yeah there 2e30 f9d 2e30 f9d Oh, that is really useful. Morning, Greg. How are you today? I am messing around with Rodeo, and in particular, I'm messing around with trying to get the version number automatically put into my Go binary, rather than having to edit it directly every time just here. 
So this is my plan. And this looks really interesting. So git describe is giving me a useful version number. So I wonder if we check out um, 0 0.3 itself. So now we're on the actual tag and do a git describe. Yeah, we get 0 0.3. Oh, that makes this really easy. Okay, check out um, main. There we go, go back. Good, glad job. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. A um, lot to do this week. I've got, I'm giving a talk at an online conference on Wednesday, so I need to do some prep for that, do a tech check, etc. today. And of course that takes that day out from the working week. So I need to make sure that I keep my clients happy too. So yeah, busy week coming up. So yeah, so git describe is what I need. So let's go back to Alex's blog. Uh, what we need to do is create a build step that does that. Uh, override, there we go. Override go build. We need we need initial override to go back to pass information to link of our LD flags. So ideally we're gonna need to make we're going to need a make file. Make file might be the easiest way to do that. Using LD flags. Minus X. Inside the quote system, minus X option and a key value pair variable to be changed its new variable. Oh, that's interesting. Also, oh, minus X enables you to change a variable inside Go. Ooh. So let's check out get check out minus B. Uh, build time build. So it's spell build. Build time version. Build time version number. Like that. So everyone agrees. We need to create a variable in the package. I kind of think it should be in main. No, not that. Main. Hey, homeless dev. Add the flag to git describe, and I think it will give you the exact tag. Dash dash tags ibrev equals zero. Yes, I think you're probably right. So if I did git describe dash dash tags dash dash ibrev equals zero. Yeah, we get 0 0.3. So yes, I can get the most recent tag Um, so it looks like dash dash tags is optional. Yes, it, I think dash dash tags is the default. But I'm pretty. Oh, I wonder if that implies that you can do uh, three, no two. Ooh, I'm not sure what what the what does a brev do. Dash dash help. Brev. Dirty. Oh, tags. Instead of using only the annotated tag, use any tag. Oh, yeah, okay. I always use annotated tags. So dash dash tags is implicit. Anyway, a brev. Here we go. Instead of using the default seven hexadecimal digits, they use n digits or as many digits as needed to form a unique object name. An n of zero will suppress the long format and only show the closest tag. Aha, okay. Yeah, so I think I'm happy we just use and git describe as is as my version number. Because when someone builds Rodeo from master, I would like them, I would like to know exactly which commit they built from. And this will show that quite 
it quite easily by looking at that bit, sorry, that bit there. So let's create a version um, like that. Ah, git tag. It's a string. In fact, uh, yeah, like that. And then in root.go, on do I need to bring it in? Main dot. Oh, maybe I don't need that. Git tag main dot git tag. That's what I want to do. Do I need to import uh, import main? Probably. Oh, can you import main? Maybe you can't import main. Thinking about it. Just use a package name. Ah, oh, Rodeo. Like that? Hmm. Doesn't like, doesn't like me putting a global variable here inside package main or inside main.go and then picking it up in root.go, which is in the commands package. Here is where my Go knowledge is not very good. Go uh, import variable from main dot go. So, so maybe we can't do that. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, not use main.go. That seemed like a good idea, it was probably not. Let's just put it in. Let's just pull it in, in this project, project directly. So now I can do that. Now, of course, that won't build. So I try to go build that. Go build main.go. No, that's wrong. Take out the T. That's a lie. Dot slash uh, go run main dot go version. Uh, dash dash version. Not version? Surely it's dash version. Unknown flag. Not version. That's funny, I could have sworn it was version. Rodeo, 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 dash, dash, version. It does work. So why doesn't go run main dash, dash, version work? Unknown flag dash, dash, version. So I'm happy about something. Maybe it's unhappy because git tag isn't defined. Oh, git tag equals dev there we go yes you do need to have defined your version to something uh, dev build okay so that's just going to say radio version dev build which isn't great but now we can pick up this git describe stuff so I can do uh, no, not from that one. Okay, let's go back to Alex's one, that one. So we can export like that. Ah, we don't want to export it. Let's go to this one. So, yeah, so export uh, 
Rodeo git version equals, uh, let's use that for a git describe. And go build minus ld flags. Uh, open a string minus x and we're in commands dot is that commands yeah commands dot git tag equals dollar rodeo git version like that so now when we do that it didn't work that seems unfair. Let's take that out and make that a string again. Echo dollar rodeo git version. Yeah. LD, can you only do it into main? Can you only LD flags minus X into main? LD, uh, go, LD flags minus X. I better put quotes around minus X because otherwise Google will do the wrong thing. Uh, da -da. Okay, import path dot name. Oh, hold on. My slash, yeah, my slash package slash config. So the following is in app config. It's the root app at the main package go app slash config dot. So I'm rodeo dot config maybe? My rodeo slash commands. So it looked more like that. No, no, it can't find it. So that didn't work. Uh, unless we need the entire package name. Maybe we need the entire package name. Maybe. Which would be that. Nope. I wonder how we reference that. Go. Go build. Go build will create me a radio. That's no good. We need to do that. Oh, hold on. Yeah, if I do that. Oh, wake up, Rob. That's created me a rodeo. So now I can do rodeo dash dash version. There we go. That's worked. But if I want to do go run, that's going to fail because it's going to rebuild it. So to go run it, we need to do that export line again. Do that but instead of go build that becomes go run uh, main dot go dash dash version there we go okay so this is going to work so let's set yeah so that does need to be set to dev build so that it will work with go run without to set something every single time. Uh, git tag, git version, git version, git version. I wonder if you could automate that. It'd be nice if you could automate LD flags. Mm. 
I suppose yeah, this is why we need to make create a make file to do it. But until then, what we can do is take that. Uh, not yeah, well, let's go back here. Let's look at build. Oops, let's look at build executables. Sure. Because this is where we really want it to happen. Build in release, and here's where we do go build. Minus O. So, what we actually need to do here is echo uh, get git tag git version from git describe. And that's where we put that export line, like so. In fact, we don't need the export in this case, do we? We can just do that because we're in a shell file. And then I need the minus LD flag section to there. Here, so go build that. That's quite a long thing, so maybe we'll use that to uh, make it easier to read. So now that will build it with the version number. So if I run dot slash build executables, uh, oh, that, oh, we don't even need to pass in a version number now. Oh, so what does our workflow release do? Ah, maybe this isn't needed. We already have the version number from here, dollar version. So I don't need that at all. What I can do is just use dollar version there. Uh, we didn't call it git tag in the end, did we? We named it to git version. So it's not really git version. I think we might just call that version. Then in here, that becomes commands.version. And now when I go here and do dot build executables uh, 0 0.3 dash rob, for instance, Undefined terrible git tag. Uh, why is it can't find git tag? Git tag. Row. Do, 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 do. What did I screw up here? Oh, I forgot to change that version there. So now it's going to build 0.3 rob. And I was using the version that you pass in to build executables just for creating the binaries zip file name. But now I th we're going to also use it to create the version number inside the binary. Hey, that's quite cool. So that's finished. So if we look here, um, let's put them in release. So here's the releases. So let's. Um, ungzip is it ungzip? gzip un hmm Gz do I have gzip? what's ungzip? how do you un oh minus d ls gzip minus d rodeo rob mac so that gives me a rodeo file here. So if I do dot slash dat dash dash version, it tells me it's 0 0.3 rob. So I'm now no longer hard coding in the version number into the source code. It does it when it builds the release. That is pretty awesome. So when I tag and run a release in, uh, create a release in GitHub, the GitHub action gets called, which is this one. 
which determines the release tag name, release tag name, passes that into build executables here and is used to set the version variable within the source code. Then the build happens and it sets the version correctly here. How cool is that? That is pretty awesome. I, I'm quite, quite pleased about that because that will take out some of the really boring steps. So we can update, uh, not that button, that one, um, our release process. So we still got to install a milestone is correct for the version number. Assign the version number in root.go. That can go. We can assign or close release list milestone. We can install, ensure main is clean locally. Create the change log. Tag with the new version. Oh, why? That's interesting. The numbers didn't add up anyway. Tag with the new version. Tag with the tag the new version and paste into the change log. Paste into the change log. Push the tag. Close the milestone. Create a new one, and we're done. So we've removed a step. Oh, it doesn't like that about my grammar. Ensure that the milestone. Well, I'll create my this on GitHub. Right, there we go, that's better. What can I get? I create a for this release with the. Oh, that's interesting. With the. So we can probably do there with the. This one I cracked to get action with the create spine release with the tag set as the version number when dot slash ru when dot slash rodeo dash dash version is called. As described by, that's better. There we go. So my release process has got a little bit easier. I've saved having to do two additional PRs and it will still have a version number that's correct in the system. I like that. Get stuff. Uh, S tree. Let's open up our binary. It's coming up for nine o'clock, so we need to finish very shortly. Um, RM main. So not that directory. RM minus RF release main and right here. Let's go to those. Commit those changes first. Commit minus V. Um, set version number via LD LD flags. Um, using a global variable. We can no, use a global variable uh, for the version number for the insert rodeo version number and set this using LD flags minus X. in build executable structure uh, that needs quotes around it too and no back to each other this means that when the gh action uh, b 
build the binaries on release of a on a new release. The internal version number is correctly set automatically for us. There. And let's add doc release process git commit minus v. Oh. oh, I see. I've got to do an add there. Git commit commit minus v. Update the re release process for. No longer need to set the version, internal version number. Internal version number manually as it is now done. Done in the step. Now done in the. Uh, all done. It's now set by the uh, GH action using L LD flags minus X. There we go. Let's push that. Origin build time version number. Like so. And now we can create the pull request. Right, so cool, this has got quite a lot of stuff on here now. Build time version number set version number to tag when releasing by GH actions. Um, git log minus two. I want to grab this text here. We now use a global variable for the radio version number and set this using audio flags in build executable search instance when the JS action builds the binaries on new release, internal version number is correctly set for us. Also update release release release. Can't type today. Ses.md Loses something thirty seven, maybe forty two, forty one, forty, thirty nine. I should go look at option to thirty nine. Set version number from git tag closes thirty nine. This doesn't need a milestone because it's an internal thing. Hey, I'm pleased about that. I think we'll stop there. Uh, yeah, we can probably merge that. Yeah, let's merge that and call it done, I think. So git checkout main. Git merge like that. Close it closes 42 and push that. Yes, yeah, so that was useful. So thanks to Homeless Dev for that. We learned a little bit more about Git describe and how it works. We ended up not using it directly. I think if we ever used a make file to build and run Rodeo locally then I would probably grab that LD flag stuff and stick it in the make file. But the key thing I'm looking for, well, I'm looking for two key things. I'm looking to avoid having to set the version number as a string within the Go file, because then I have to change it after every release. So I'd like that to be automated. And secondly, I'd like to be able to distinguish when a user is using their own compiled binary rather than using one of my one of my compilations. And now that's possible. Because when you type 
go run main.go. So when you compile your own one, you're going to get a version number of dev build. So we'll know immediately if an issue comes up with a version of dev build that it is not an official release of Rodeo, which I think is going to be quite helpful. If anyone else other than me ever uses this source code, which is a toss up in and of its own right. Git branch minus D, uh, what do we call this branch? Build time version number, git push origin dash dash delete and delete it from remote as well. So there we go. And that has ended up being a really good um, session. We got release 0 0.3 out the door and we've made doing 0 0.4 onwards that much easier. So there's not a lot more to add to Rodeo. And, um, the list of things we're putting into the list is uh, getting less important. There's not a lot in there now, so that's good as well. So yeah, let's call that a day then. Hopefully that was useful to everyone. If any luck you found it's interesting. I certainly found it interesting. I thought I learned some things, so that's good. And it's Monday, so let's go and have a great week. And hopefully I'll speak to you next week. Take care.